So the holidays are coming up and you're looking for a gift idea. Well, here's one project that you could give to someone who likes electronics and it wants to learn more. In this video, I'll show you how to design your own PCB from start to finish. This is a PCB in the shape of a tree with alternating flashing lights that turns on by simply plugging in a 9 volt battery. Everything is controlled by this 555 timer chip, which tells the LEDs to either turn on or off. Now this looks easier said than done, which is why I made an Instructables article and this video so that you are fully prepared to make your own project. So make sure to watch this entire video, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. The first thing I did was research what components I could use to make this project happen. I could have just used an Arduino and coded the pins to flash, however I wanted to try something new and use components that did not need to be coded. It took some trial and error to find the right design, and I decided to use these components. Next I translated the design from the breadboard to the computer to test different resistors and capacitors. Tinkercad is completely free and has upgraded a lot since I used it last time for CAD so it is a great resource to learn these electronic skills, as well as CAD skills. Next, I translated the working components into an EDA software. I used Easy EDA for its ease of access, and for it being online so I don't have to install a software. This part is a bit more complicated, so if you want to see more on how to design a PCB, check out my Instructables article and ask questions in the comments. One thing I could say about making a PCB project is to test as much as you can before you make the board. For example, I 3D printed this outline of the shape so I can test out the scale and size of everything before I send it off to manufacturing. That's also why I use Tinkercad to test out all the components before I made the board. After I sent the Gerber files to Max PCB, I gathered all of the components I needed to make sure this project works. And that brings us to today's sponsor, Next PCB, where you can get fast and high quality boards like the ones used in this video. If you place an order on the Next PCB website, you can get some coupons for this holiday season. Next PCB is giving 15% off for their PCBs, and for PCB A orders, they give 10% off for Christmas. You can also invite your friends to order boards for a chance to get more coupons. Act now to get these deals while they last, and the links are in the description. Now that everything we need has arrived, we can start soldering and testing our components. Well, that was a little bit unexpected. It turned out red, but the PCB is still very high quality. I mean, the silk screen has a really high resolution with my logo and the back side works really well too, with the fine lines, the words, and the star on the top. So now I'm gonna solder on all of the components and get this thing flashing. I was very careful to put all the components in the right spot so I didn't break any of them. This is very important to remember, especially when you're designing, to make sure that you remember all electronics take up space and I learned this the hard way with my talking hat project where I was just rushing through the design trying to get it done. But for this project, I really took it slow and made sure I got it right the first time. I put all of the components in, like the place for the battery, the barrel jack, and the IC, and the capacitor. And when I put the LEDs in, I realized they weren't turning on. So I just had to go through everything that I did, starting from the breadboard, to the Tinkercad, to the schematic. And looking at the schematic, the only error that I made was that the LEDs were flipped. So basically to solve the problem of the LEDs not turning on, I just had to turn it around and ignore the markings. So like on this yellow LED, the negative leg is actually where the plus sign is. So thankfully that saved everything and let's finish putting the LEDs in.
And that's how I made this year's holiday decoration. If you have any questions, there's a link to the Instructables article in the description, and please just ask in the comment section. Thanks so much for Next PCB for sponsoring this video, and remember to subscribe to help out the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.